When viewing colors from your computer via your HDMI output, they are being changed by your GPU. As is being illustrated here, the colors are close, but to accurately grade, they have to be precise. To solve this problem, we add an interface such as an Ultra Studio 3G for 1080 HD resolution or an Ultra Studio 4K Mini. Additionally, we use a monitor that is capable of displaying 100% of the Rec. 709 or similar color space. Note that when using one of these interfaces, the Resolve Color Page Viewer is the only thing the monitor will display. It will not display the Resolve UI, nor will it display anything from any other program. To set the system up, you'll need to connect your laptop or desktop via a Thunderbolt 3 or 4 cable to an Ultra Studio 3G and then to your monitor via an HDMI or an SDI cable. Note that you must have at least Thunderbolt 3. This is not USB-C. Next, you will need the calibrator itself. I use the X-Rite i1 display, but there are certainly other options on the market. Finally, you will need calibration software. I use and recommend DisplayCal, a freeware calibration software that is not only free but also very powerful, effective, and trustworthy. It can be downloaded for free at DisplayCal.net. There is a link in the description. If you have not installed Blackmagic Desktop Video, go to blackmagicdesign.com. Choose the Support tab. In the left column, scroll down until you find the first desktop video link and download the right one for your system. You can skip this window by clicking Download Only. Download, Extract, and Install. Anytime you plan to grade via your Ultra Studio, you will need to start Blackmagic Desktop Video before you open Resolve. You should see an image of the Ultra Studio device if it is connected and working. If there is no image, restarting the computer usually fixes it. Now open Resolve, go to the DaVinci Resolve menu and select Preferences. Under Video and Audio I.O. and the Monitor Device drop-down, select Ultra Studio Monitor 3G. Click Save and then Restart Resolve. Now the first thing you want to do is to make sure you're not already using a display LUT as doing so will create a LUT on top of a LUT which will be a mess. To do this, click on the cog wheel in the lower right corner. Select Color Management. Scroll down to Lookup Table and under Video Monitor Lookup Table. Click the three dots and select No LUT Selected. Click Save. Okay, let us begin calibration. So we go into Color Page, Workspace, Monitor Calibration, Portrait Displays Calman. It pops up asking for an IP address and a port. If you do not already have that, open your Display Cal software. Under Profiling, click on Calibrate in Profile, and it will give you the IP and the port that you need. Go back to Workspace, Monitor Calibration, Portrait Displays Calman. Paste the IP address in the top field and the port in the bottom field. Click Connect. Now that we are connected, we can open our Display Cal. Start by making sure your display is set to Resolve. The instrument will automatically select the calibrator that is plugged in to your computer. If your monitor is an OLED, select White Level Drift Compensation. The correction type is more complicated. Google should be able to help you with your specific model. I use an ASU, so I select Spectral LCD White. In the Calibration tab, I just leave the settings as they are. Skipping ahead to the 3D LUT tab, make sure Create 3D LUT After Profiling box is checked. I set Source Color Space to Rec. 709 and Tone Curve to Gamma 2.2. You typically use 2.4, but that is not an option. Back in the Profile tab, choose the test chart you want to use. Choose the Auto Optimize option if you would like the slider with the number of test charts. I am going to just do a very small number of patches for this video. We can go up to 5 hours and 55 minutes, 11,140 colors. But for this tutorial, I am going to go to 2 minutes, 34 colors. That sounds much more manageable. Click Calibrate in Profile. Start measurement. Make sure your calibrator is on the color patch and hit OK. This measurement only takes about 15 seconds. Once it is finished, hit Start measurement. This also only takes about 15 seconds. 
At this point, you want to try to get your red, green, and blue as close to the middle arrows as possible using your monitor settings. So now we will stop the measurement and click on Continue On to Profiling. This will take anywhere from a couple minutes to several hours, depending on how many patterns you chose to be generated. Once that is done, click Save 3D LUT as, and then Save 3D LUT as on the second pop-up. Select a location to save your display LUT. I am just going to put a note on here that this is just a test LUT. We can close the connection. And now we go back into the cog. Under Color Management, click on the button titled Update Lists. In the Video Monitor Lookup table, click the three dots. Choose the folder where you stored your LUT. For me, it is in Monitor Calibration. Choose the LUT you just created. Your reference monitor is now calibrated to show accurate colors when your signal is being sent from Resolve through your Ultra Studio monitor device. I hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe for more tutorials, reviews, and short films.